2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard today will get their card. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Looks like this one's going to the beach. He was in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Four feet to the cup. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Luke, coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. <laughs> Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. And here we are with the third shot. Well struck. Butting for birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And looks like we're taking another look at that one. coming up here. It was on a good line. And this one will be for bogey. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with a three wood here.
Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. This putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. Five feet coming up to the cup. And in it goes for the par. He's currently tied for seven. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Absolutely tattooed that one. Going with the five wood. This one might need to get down a little. That's a good looking shot there. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. That one's come up short. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. You've arrived at a par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. <laughs> Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From about 130 yards here, Two strokes off the lead. Going with the nine iron, I think. This one needs to kick left.
Yeah, a quality shot, that. Spot the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. It's up, it could be in. Oh, well, holes, he'll take the birdie. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. This hole's a tough two shotter, a long par four. Nicely done. Second shot here on the sixth. Going with the hybrid. Outstanding approach shot. This one for back-to-back -back birdies. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if he can hold this. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to two under. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here at the seventh. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Oh, well played. A good look at Birdie here. We well, can't make them all. Go tap it in. And that brings to an end that hole. Currently a couple under for the round. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Second shot here on the eighth. Oh, that was pure. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before.
This one's tracking. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to three under. He's currently in a share of top spot. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. We have a par three on this one. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. They're not a bad shot, that one. Outside chance here for the birdie. Not sure how that putt came up shy. 19 feet to the cup. Go in. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Well, Rich, that's a shot they'd like to have back again for sure. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Oh, just missed. This next part is for bogey. Well, that looked good for a long way. That hole's done. Currently one under for the round. Teeing off here at the 11th. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And here we are with the third shot. Three strokes off the lead. Trying to get to two under with this putt. Okay, steady now. 
Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. That was a gallant attempt. This putt just five feet away from the hole. This one's looking good. Yep, well hold for bogey. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. This one's bunker bound. John's down on the course. And do you have a better look at this lie? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. Well, that was a good strike. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. That a boy. Good shot. Putting for par. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Yeah, hit the bunker off the tee. Great recovery. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. We've arrived at a par four hole. Good looking shot, this. Second shot here on the 13th. Nicely done. A chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And he'll move into the top 10. Now fall back after that hole. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Opting for the three wood. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This one's for birdie. Big chance here. Yeah, that's well judged. 
And that should secure the par. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. Playing from around 190 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Opting for the five wood. Woo, back there, horsey. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Looks good off the blade. And the putt drops. Now even par, heading down the stretch. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. This shot from the first cut of rough. That'll work, that's fine. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. And down she goes from outside the range. And that will take him to one under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And we've arrived at a par three. Looks like they've got the five wood. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Good shot there. Birdie at the last. This for another. And this putt to move into the top five. Oh, this looks pure. Ooh, right by the hole. Just three feet to the cup. Good putt, that. Trailing by four strokes. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. 
Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Good shot there. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. And this putt is for a final score of 70. It's got a chance. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Thank you.